But on, on an amusing note, I went to see the president of Haiti recently. And, you know, we told him about the schools, etc. And he says to me, will you build a school, you know, for me in my constituency? Heard that one before. Um, and I said, well, we would consider it, you know, as part of a program, blah, 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 blah. Next thing he gets his architect immediately on the phone. And I'm trying to speak pidgin French uh, to this guy. And... Uh, he then met our, the woman who runs our foundation, Maria Mulcahy, last week, and he thinks we're going to build a university for him, not a school. So there are, can be problems with politicians where they get enthused and maybe the ask gets too much. Um, there's a gentleman here at the very front here from the Waterford Institute of Technology asked the question, how can you know, small businesses get involved? Uh, in, uh, in helping others outside of Ireland, but also in the whole CSR, you know, doing the right thing within CSR, the many different initiatives companies have to have. But I think it's to adopt a project. And I met Father Paul Byrne outside, and um, he explained to me that in Haiti, the Oblets have 120 projects. Uh, and Certainly, he'd love to hear from people today. I know people from Trocro would, but also concerned because it's all very well getting staff involved and volunteering and going out to Haiti to work with the Oblets, but you need people to implement every day, 24 hours a day, the projects that you're involved in. So he'd certainly like to he hear from people today. And finally, which is to wrap up, um, you know, we all, you know, say, well, w what is the good of CSR? Is it tangible? I certainly, if you live it and walk it, you c can actually see it happen for us. And I had one funny uh, occasion recently where I met the president of uh, Nicaragua, uh, Daniel Ortega. And we're up against a Spanish company uh, and a number of other foreign companies, French companies, uh, to get a license in Nicaragua. And so I had my 10-minute slot to come and do an elevator pitch about Digicel. And he cut me dead. And he said to me, he says, I know what you've done in Haiti because President Vival told me, so you don't need to tell me. He says, we would like to consider you, in inverted commas, uh, for a license. And what sealed it then w was when I explained that my mother actually protested uh, against Ronald Reagan uh, outside the U.S. Embassy uh, 25, 30 years ago, or whenever that was, uh, with me as well in tow, reluctantly, as probably a little brat. Uh, and then next thing he had photographs out writing little notes to my mother uh, in very warm terms, in which my father became quite jealous of because he's a revolutionary and uh, my father is uh, at home. But um, I'm only joking. It just shows you how things, you, 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 you do the right thing, but, uh, and you don't expect anything to come back, but you know, it actually does come back. So thank you very much.